As the United States' second national park, Sequoia is one of the few national parks that is protecting a living organism. The giant sequoia trees! Sequoia National Park was established on September 25, 1890. President Benjamin Harrison created it to protect the giant sequoias from logging companies. The park became very popular for tourists, and in 1940, President Franklin D. Roosevelt created a new national park, Kings Canyon. Kings Canyon borders Sequoia, and the two parks are now administered together. But it all started with the protection of these spectacular trees. These skyscrapers hold the record for the largest tree in the world. Meet General Sherman, the largest living organism on the planet. At 1,487 cubic meters, this tree is truly a sight to behold. The tree is estimated to be around 2,200 years old. That means that this tree was planted during the time of ancient Greece. That also means it lived through the height of the Roman Empire the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, the Reformation, Age of Exploration, Establishment of the U.S., World War I, World War II, and to today. And we don't even think that this is the oldest tree. The oldest tree is a Great Basin Bristlecone Pine, which is estimated to be over 5,000 years old. But how can scientists estimate the age of trees? Well, it's through a process called dendrochronology. Dendrochronology is the study of the history of a tree. And a lot of times scientists figure out the age of the tree by studying its tree rings. During each wet and dry season, a tree adds a new layer of tissue just underneath the bark. This allows it to grow bigger. Over time, we can see the different layers, and we can now count the number of tree rings in order to calculate the age of a tree. You can also study scars from a forest fire, insect burrows, weather patterns, and you can learn about external forces that cause one side of the tree to grow more than the other side. Well, that's okay for trees that have died, like this one. But what about living trees? How do we figure out their ages? We don't have to cut down a tree in order to estimate its age. Instead, we can use a tree core. A tree core is a tool that scientists use to crank a cylinder into the tree and pull out a sample of the tree rings. Then we study the rings in a lab. You can then compare the samples with other trees in the forest. This can help us to make a timeline for the trees, to see which ones were born first, and when major events like a forest fire occurred. The videos and pictures we took here don't really capture the beauty of this place. I strongly encourage you to come see it for yourself. <laughs> 